Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 17th of 2020. Well, it is titled solar cycle 25 has begun. So what do we see here? Well, this is uh, actually two images of the sun and you can see how they're divided in the middle. And these two were taken about five years apart. Back in uh, on the left hand side back in April of 2014, we see the maximum solar activity of solar cycle 24. And there we can see all of the bright areas and very active areas of the sun and a lot of prominences, a lot of sunspot areas, uh, where showing the sun was very, very active at the time. In contrast, the image taken on the right in December of 2019 is very calm. So we're at solar minimum. Now we don't always know when solar minimum occurs until after the fact and it's just now that we're being able to finally confirm that the sun is starting to come out of the solar minimum that occurred back in December of 2019. So while we say that the sun has an 11 year activity cycle, it's not precisely 11 years. So we cannot exactly say that 11 years from December of 2019 will be the next minimum. Depending on the actual cycle, it might be a year or two earlier or a year or two later than that. But that does mean that we would expect that the sun will be getting more active over the coming years. And if it follows its average cycle, it would peak in 2025 and would be back to what we see on the left hand side. Now the activity on the sun also affects us here on Earth in that the more active the sun is, then the more uh, Aurora we will get some more charged particles coming from the sun and the more it will affect us here on Earth. So we will have some things to see and some sunspots to look at and uh, more Aurora over the coming years. So right now it's been a relatively quiet time for that, but that will increase. Now you also notice the weird coloring of the sun if you're looking at it that's not like image of the sun we normally look at. Uh, this is imaging taken by the Solar Dynamics Observatory and it is not looking at visible light but ultraviolet light and it is then false colored in this case into yellow shows one specific wavelength of ultraviolet light which looks at the emission of iron atoms in the outer atmosphere of the sun. So we're not looking at what we normally call the surface of the sun but the layers further out and there the temperatures increase drastically and we can see the emission of these iron atoms that normally would never be visible and the solar di Dynamics Observatory uh, orbits and constantly looks at the sun and studies it so that we can keep uh, detailed records. And that's where we have this as solar cycle 25 because that goes back to 1755 when the first uh, really uh, detailed recordings were be able to be made. Sun's Sunspots were first recorded by Galileo in the early 1600s, but it wasn't until the mid 1700s that we had regular observations of being able to track down this cycle that we now follow today. So that was our picture of the day for September the 17th of 2020. It was titled Solar Cycle 25 has begun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 3D Orion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.